Thank you, Madam Speaker. At this time, I'd like to yield uh, two minutes to one of our, our newest but most energetic and, uh, and the dynamic members of the subcommittee, uh, Mr. Conley from the 11th District of Virginia, again for two minutes. Gentlemen's recognized. I thank the distinguished uh, subcommittee chairman and uh, also thank, Madam Speaker, uh, the distinguished chairman of the committee and uh, Ms. Maloney from New York for her leadership on this very important issue. Madam Speaker, I, I thought we had identified finally an issue where we could count on the support of the minority party. After enduring decades of sanctimonious speeches about family values, here we are, poised to take action. H.R. 626, the Paid Parental Leave Act, would allow federally employed mothers and fathers to spend time with their newborn children without sacrificing their income. Surprisingly, the minority party objects to such a notion. In the Committee on Oversight and Reform, of which I'm a member, the minority actually proposed during markup to prohibit paid parental leave from being used for foster children. I can't even speculate about what the origins of that antipathy toward foster children might be, but I am reminded of a speech in this chamber, Madam Speaker, made not so long ago by the former Republican Majority Leader Tom DeLay. He spoke passionately about the plight of foster children and implored Congress to, quote, listen to the stories of these children and the stories they tell, study the broken system we've created for them, and help them. For God's sake, help them." Unquote. Madam Speaker, H.R. 626 will not solve all or even most problems with the foster care system, but it will allow more federal employees to spend more time with very young foster children. We have a wealth of data that demonstrates this parent-child interaction is essential for the cognitive and emotional development of these children. We introduced amendments in the committee actually that would punish foster children and now here on this floor the minority party endeavors to gut this legislation and prevent mothers and fathers from spending time with their very young children. This bill is what real family values are all about. I ask my colleagues to support the bill. 